It's safe to say that 2023 has certainly been off to an interesting start. And to continue that trend and properly celebrate Hump Day, Ubisoft decided to hump itself nice and hard today. The French-based company has undergone a fair amount of chaotic change over the last year, with the company announcing over the summer that it was not only shutting down some of its free-to-play games and leaving us hanging on several anticipated remasters, but also delaying Avatar Frontiers of Pandora and limiting its foreseeable release schedule to just Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope, Just Dance 2023, and the upcoming open-world pirate RPG Skull and Bones. The last on that list has gained notoriety for simply being the game that Ubisoft will always hype but never release. Skull and Bones began official development back in 2013 as an Assassin's Creed 4 spin-off, and eventually morphed into its own standalone as the project grew. Then, at E3 2017, during the Ubisoft show, we got our first official footage. At the time, the game was quite hyped, as Assassin's Creed 4 was well received by both critics and gamers alike, and the expansion into an open-world pirate game was a big deal. The hype for Skull and Bones was so real that there were concerns it would sink, Xbox's Sea of Thieves, which released in 2018. It didn't, and the game has done surprisingly well, with regular content updates including a Jack Sparrow DLC in 2021. Skull and Bones was originally scheduled for a Q3-Q4 2018 release, then somewhere into 2019, then March 2020, then Spring 2021, then to November 8th, 2022, and finally to March 2023. Since this just seems to be the delay that just keeps giving, this doomed project was revealed today to be delayed for a sixth time, now to some unspecified time between early 2023 and 2024. This game has been in development so long that last year it broke the Guinness World Record for longest game in development, a title previously held by 2011's Duke Nukem Forever. And we all know how that one went. Now, if we already hadn't learned our lesson from overly delayed games, the developers decide to weigh in to make sure that we as consumers don't invest a single dime into this release, calling their own project an incomplete, overhyped mess that's not worth purchasing upon initial release. Thanks for looking out for the little guys, Skull and Bones devs. The cherry on top of this absolute lack of Sunday was the updated footage we got during Ubisoft's showcase back in September 2022, which didn't look all that different from the footage we got five years prior, with the biggest difference being the UI changes and some shaders. No joke, I recommend you check out both just to see how little that footage has changed even after the game had supposedly been rebuilt from top to bottom back in 2017. But now, back to the press release. Unsurprisingly, Mario and & Rabbids and Just Dance 2023 didn't do as well as expected with the company announcing in a press release on January 11th that they are refocusing their financial targets and placing their major emphasis over the coming year on their bigger IPs, specifically Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, and the already released Tom Clancy games. For Assassin's Creed, we already know they are balls deep in the upcoming materials with that one, with several games in production and a deal with Netflix that includes a live-action show, animated series, and mobile game. That live-action show might be on the rocks though, as it was recently announced that the writer had left the project for creative differences. Why you wouldn't listen to the guy that wrote Die Hard and The Fugitive is beyond me. But hey, Netflix is gonna Netflix. In addition to Skull and Bones getting delayed a sixth time, Ubisoft decided to cancel three more unspecified upcoming releases on top of the four they already delayed back over the summer. Of those four was included Ghost Recon Frontlines, which was a game that was only announced several months earlier in October 2021. Ubisoft has been making some questionable choices over the last year, undoubtedly due to the cluster boink of bad decisions they've been making over the course of the last decade, specifically with their bigger IPs, which have just been transformed into more or less copy and paste releases. Because hey, if a formula works, you might as well milk it for all it's worth. On top of flaking on other reboots and remakes, the company announced that the upcoming Splinter Cell game, developed by Ubisoft Toronto, would be adapted for modern audiences which I honestly wouldn't expect less from Canadians. The company also announced a deal with Chinese conglomerate Tencent, with the company purchasing a 49.9 economic stake and 5% voting stake in Ubisoft worth a whopping $297 million earlier this year. The deal will also provide some substantial financial support for the publisher. The cherry on top is that Ubisoft also decided to end 2022, announcing that it was going to adopt some of the UN's green policies, because gamers are their 
still loyal to their brand would like nothing more than to have a company that depends on machinery built off the backs of child labor virtue signal their absolute love for ineffective green policies. Ubisoft, I don't know who's making all your business and development decisions, but you should replace them ASAP. Or maybe this is just the last hurrah so that Tencent will buy you out finally and you don't have to drown in the dumpster fire you created. What's your take on the current state of Ubisoft? Will you be playing Skull and Bones when it finally does come out, if ever? Let me know in the comments below and please make sure to sail your cursor over to those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this commentary. Want to keep up on everything and anything gaming related? Catch me over on Rumble every Sunday at 9pm Eastern for my This Week in Gaming podcast on The Lambency Show. You can find episode re-uploads as well as some of my other game reviews over on thelambencyshow.com. Furthermore, if you want to watch a bunch of sexy people review movies and pop culture, you can find me on Mischief Mayhem Movie every Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern over at Cannoli Sasquatch Productions. Thank you for tuning in and stay frosty, friends.